Hey, and welcome to GS Pro V2 Tips once again. And today we're going to be talking about the recent release of version 2.5.3.30 and what some of the new features are that have come about in this new update. Stay tuned. <music> Alright, in this new release, it's packed with a bunch of fixes. As you can see, the list is there. Um, but most importantly now, you can see that we have some additions. We've added three new courses to the Operation 36 list of items. Let's take a look at those. Operation 36, now we have Central Park South, Central Park North, and Serenity Falls. So we have a total of six courses for the Operation 36. Next on our list is going to be the GS Pro Handicap System or the GSP HCP. The GS Pro Handicap is currently in beta and it's likely to be tweaked as we go forward for bugs and other general, general formula changes. It's only going to count on 18 hole stroke play rounds. That's currently the only ones that are supported not nine, not match, not Stableford, stroke play, 18 holes. The current round handicap is calculated based on a formula that takes into consideration the difficulty of the course. Now keep in mind, the course difficulty is subjective based on the course designer's thought process and how to determine slope and rating for the course that they are designing. It's also going to be a blended handicap. It's going to be based on the six best rounds over your most recent 30 rounds. As of right now, it's a pretty basic calculation. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is that um, if a player has less than six rounds, it's still going to calculate a handicap using those particular rounds, but it's going to be based on their last amount of rounds, whatever that X rounds are, unlike um, the gin handicap. Also keep in mind, this is a local database friendly item. So if you have a friend that comes over, let's say his name is Harry, and he plays 25 rounds and gets a, a GSP handicap, you accidentally delete Harry. If you recreate Harry, Harry will no longer have a handicap because the system and the local database truly believe that Harry is a new person. Also, if you play at a commercial facility where they have two and three bays, or you play at your house, your friend's house, and you play at a commercial facility at GS Pro, you will have a different GSP handicap on each of those systems based on the rounds played on that local computer. It does not upload to the cloud and know that you are you in various different places where GS Pro is installed. So keep that in mind and make sure that the people that you have um, playing at your local home aren't accidentally deleted along with their handicap. The next item we have is Shamble Game Mode. Shamble, if you've never played it, it's kind of fun, kind of exciting, very different than a, not very different, but it's a little different, a little tweak to a scramble. So just like a scramble, everybody has their drive. You pick the best drive in shamble mode from that point of that picked drive you now all play your ball individually and the lowest score for your group of four if you're playing that way would be the score for your team everyone tees off pick the best drive everyone plays their individual ball to hole out from there the next two items are found in the settings in the visual settings area. It's called show up next and the narrow UI. Show up next means that in between players, when you're switching from player one to player two, during the course of a round, your name will now show up in the middle, much like when you see par show up or birdie show up after you've completed a hole. It'll simply say Ralph and it'll show who's up next. Those can be found 
in the interface under uh, settings, under visual settings, you will see the show up next message and you'll be able to see the narrow UI mode. Now, if you've got a one by one aspect ratio, if you happen to be that person, GS Pro doesn't usually look pretty good in that those instances. So you have an interesting configuration where you're not a 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 and you end up in one by one. Try out the new narrow UI mode. This was really built for you guys. And with that, I'll leave you to read the list of what things have been fixed. Head to the range, previous, online, etc. Feel free to cruise through the list of fixes and bugs and other various things. But until next time, hit them straight. And please, don't forget to subscribe down below and give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate all the love. And we'll see you again on GS Pro V2 Tips. Until then, hit them straight.